Hello everyone, Princess Casserole here, and I'm here with the uh, $22.99, um, this was Salvation Army, let's see, it's kind of big, <laughs> I'm not going to rip into your ears this time, I'll actually just cut into it. This is the one from before that I was going to open and then ended up opening a different one because I got kind of excited. Hello, Lily. Um, so, I have no idea what might be in here. Might be good, might be terrible. Just like any time. <laughs> You just never know. So, sorry if I hit the camera a little bit. Oh, interesting. Ooh. I think this smells like smoke, but I, I can't tell. I can't tell. It's leather. I think it smells like smoke. This one, poor guy, he has no more stretch. <laughs> and the one guy who sells me these is always like, what do you think? Do you think this one could be something? And I'm always like, no. Yeah, he was like, do you think this could be anything? And I was like, probably not. Ooh, and it's not. There's no markings or anything, and it's kind of faded. This one is, it says 925. Right there. So this one's nice. The other one's nice, too. It's just um, kind of faded. And twenty two dollars for this one, I was like, whatever, you know, like it was such a big jar as well. This one's kind of fun. I kind of like really big chunky plastic necklaces. They remind me of the ones when I was little, where you would like put the things together. Do you guys remember those? And you would build a nice big necklace. <laughs> so I kind of like that. I used to love those. Wooden. This one's actually pretty nice. Wooden bracelet. And a wooden watch. Fiera, I think. And let's see. I think this one's broken. I don't know. I think it might be scrap silver. Yeah, it says 925, but it's broken. I have a whole bunch of scrap silver. I don't think these ones are silver, but they are cute. Hello, Lisa. And again, if you guys are joining later and you don't know who I'm saying hi to, um, you can always open the chat box if you don't want to you don't have to and this is just a silver tone bit. <laughs> this is interesting I think I missed something from Gina I'll have to look at the replay Miss Gina always has good information as well. I think this says 925. That's quite pretty. Oh, and there's a match. Those are pretty, don't you think? They look like CZs. 
And I say that there. So those are nice. Um, these, I think, are watch faces. And some of this stuff is just go in with the uh, scrap stuff. Hmm. There's a lot of them here. I think this is broken. <laughs> But I think this is the rest of that silver chain. And so that'll go. I have a whole bunch of scrap. One day I'll sell it. I have scrapped some other stuff. Um, I scrapped that uh, 14 karat gold pin in the last one and uh i got like 60 bucks for that and i had like one or two other things i had like a single earring that i've had forever earrings so that definitely paid for the whole jar more these are cute these i like these they're little stars and a moon and I'll sing lyrics of the sing lyrics. You guys knew you weren't going to get through the whole on jarring without hearing me say that, did you? Do you think you could get through it without it? This is kind of a fun one. I don't see any marks or anything. I don't think it is sterling silver or anything. But there is a cartouche here, but it doesn't say anything. But that's not a bad one. I was hoping perhaps it was silver, but alas, it wasn't. This guy's kind of fun, but he's faded. Hmm. That's kind of fun. <laughs> My towels are done, guys. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. Just a black, black ring. Oh, and a bra strap. <laughs> These are fun. It's got a straggler to it. Little eagles. Hey, Barb. Let's see. Oh, what's this guy? Mm. Don't. I don't see any markings on this. It's neat, though. I was going to actually do this earlier, but my husband had been watching <laughs> football all day. Yeah, I get all kinds of weird stuff. This is fun. I'll put that in with um, things to make other things with. You guys know what I mean by that. Most of the stuff is just like pieces that'll go in. Let me see this guy. All right, this one says, I think S925. So we'll have to see if this one cleans up. If it does, it's quite pretty. Yeah, it smells terrible. <laughs> it smells like silver. So I think this one actually might be sterling. That is super cool, isn't it? I love that. I like the design of it. So that's really nice. $22 wasn't too bad. So like I didn't 
feel bad. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that, like, I wouldn't even put in a crafter lot. That, like, is just super, like these, super um, tarnished. So, when I saw that, but I still took a chance on it. I'm have to take a closer look at this one. I'm not sure if that's. All right, what's this guy? This is, has markings, but I don't know what they mean. I don't think they're in English. Does anyone know what those say? I mean, it smells like silver. Those are interesting. So I'm going to put that aside because I think those might be silver, but I'm not sure. Do you think you can read it, Barb? Let's see. Let me zoom in. It's so that one. And then this one. I don't know how I got fuzzies on my nails. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe they're cool too. These almost look like silver. I'm not quite sure what this says. So we'll put that to the side. This is plastic, and it's broken. It looks like it wouldn't be plastic, but it is. Okay. I'll do that, Barb. I think most of the stuff that I put in that pile is just kind of not to nothing, but... Like these are really tarnished. So my arm's getting caught in the <laughs> tape over here too. This one's cool. Like literally, it's cool to the touch. That's pretty, I like that. Norville, I think it says, but this guy. He has had enough, I think. It says Ellie Cross. And it's wood. There's a lot of wood in here. So this one I'm going to put in the crafter pile. That one too. This is cool. I don't know what the name of this is. That ah, stretch works. Look at that. It's cool though. Looks like leopardy. But it's kind of cool. It's like that, but it's got all these tiger's eye bands. I thought that one was neat. This one, I don't know. It. Some of these look like they could be something, but again, this one's going in. The crafter. I really need to uh, do something with my craft lots. They're getting kind of crazy. This is just a bracelet. No markings or anything. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Does this one have any markings? Nope. So just a bangle. 
always check your bangles. Like, just some of them are marked. I don't see any of these ones having anything, but I will double check those later. And if I miss anything anyone says that's important, I apologize. Oh, well, this one's different. Hmm. I can't tell if it's like, it's heavy. I can't tell if it's nice or not nice. This one's broken. I think they just put the nice stuff on top to kind of reel me in. They always know who it is that buys their stuff. These I liked. They're plastic, but they're super like different. And they are stretchy still. I kind of like these. You guys know I like things that are a little different. Another stretch bracelet and a plastic guy. Some more. Like some of these are kind of. This is a Timex. A little baby Timex watch. You guys know how much I love watches. This one, this is going to go in the craft lot. Let's see. Oh, look at this guy. So that one I'm just going to throw in the garbage. He is not silver or anything. Just, okay. I think this one says 925. Not there. It says 925. It's really, really heavy. I think it's hematite and maybe with some pearls. Not pearls, but silver balls. I don't know what that says. It's a really, really heavy. And we'll have to be restrung to so we'll put that aside. This guy's broken. This one too, it's kind of gross. Liz Claiborne. And some beads. Yeah, this one's also, well, I think this one can still go in the crafter because there's some stuff in there that might be able to be used still. So. Yeah, I don't know what they did to stuff. But some of these are just really, really tarnished. Some of them I will double check just to make sure they're not like sterling. But some of them, like this guy, you can tell it's not. <laughs> this one had to have been broken. Look at what they did. It's kind of hilarious. This one's different. have like a billion bangles in here like always what's this guy he's got a little hook he's a little trunk up elephant yeah so i didn't pay that much for this guy anyway 22 i don't think is that bad I don't know what that is. 
I know nothing about watches. That one's going in the garbage. I mean, I smell more things that smell like silver. This is different. Like a lot of stuff is so tarnished and it could be because of being with other things that are tarnished. So it's, it's really hard to see. This is heavy. It's totally lost all its stretch, but some of you might be able to make something cool with that. This guy's leather. I don't know what the words are here. This one's broken chain. It's a really cool shape though. I hate these ones. I don't like the plastic ones. Look at all these bangles. Oh, that's pretty. We have the other one. Ooh. Again, this one's also in really bad shape. This, this one looks more silver plated to me. Perhaps. Not silver for sure. know what I was getting myself into with this one I think I could tell that there was stuff that was like super tarnished uh, this guy is a Ralph Lauren it's not terrible I think it's just because there was some stuff that is silver that was super tarnished and with other things I don't I don't know this one guy is going in the craft lot. My hands are going to smell really bad after this one because of all the tarnish. Hmm. This one's kind of cool. Sometimes things are silver plated and they will clean up a little bit. Yeah. It is it's a lot of a lot of broken stuff in this one. And plastic and tarnish stuff. The person who used to do it, I think they changed, so I don't I don't know. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. And there are so many bangles. And they're super tarnished. Oh. Is there anything at the bottom here? There was some nicer things at the top, but that was just to reel you in, I think. Get your hopes up. I saw this and I thought this might be cool, but now I'm thinking it is not. Oh, it's a Chico's watch and it is so badly tarnished. This guy's broken. Oh, it started out so strong, guys. This one's cute. I do like this pair of earrings. <laughs> Those are pretty. All the plastic ones go. I swear it smells like marijuana too. <laughs> it might be just in my head, but this is different. I'm 
And there's a pair of those ones. Hmm. I don't. There's another one of these bracelets. And I have no idea what this one is for. Hmm. Or this. I think that's just garbage. Oh. I swear, it smells like something in here that is not good. Oh, this one's Guess. It is really badly tarnished. I think it got me because it was so cheap. And I was like, okay. I do have to go through all these bangles. What is this guy? He's kind of bent out of shape, isn't he? It ties. I know. There's a fun plus. All of these, these ones, I just will put back. Put back in the in the jar. You know that's the funny thing. You win some and you lose some. But again, I don't buy it if I don't have the money that week. This is kind of a shame. I like this. This is super weird. I was gonna take the chain off, but I don't even know if I can. This one is not in good shape. Oh, what's this? Uh, I think it says 10 karat Italy. Uh, it's really pretty. I'm gonna get my magnet real quick and get my uh, thingy so I can see it. Be right back. But I don't have, this is like one of the stronger magnets that I have. Cause it's like one of those key holder ones. Uh, so pick this up right away. Pick that up. But it's only picking up the spring ring class. Which we all kind of learn by now. It says 10 karat Italy there. And let me see. So something on the spring clasp. It's kind of hard to see. I'll show you guys. If I can get it. Yeah, if this one's gold for 22 bucks, See, it says 10 carat there. Oh, and it's got a maker's mark. I don't know what that is. Does anyone recognize that? Is that like a moon? A moon in a thingy? Huh. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know why they would have put a bunch of crap in and then put 
10 carat gold herringbone chain in there. But... <laughs> I can never explain this stuff, like seriously. And they put that one at the bottom. So they were just trying to get me to look like a fool and say this was terrible and then give me something at the bottom. I think this one might be sterling. I gotta test this. This is awesome. I actually have some of these and they, like, I know. <laughs> They're disgusting. Um, and these, I thought like, oh, does anyone wear these anymore? Like, I thought they were kind of outdated, but these look really pretty on these like herringbone style necklaces, right? Isn't that what it's called? And it is patterned on this side and just kind of straight on the other side. This ring is really cool. I like this one a lot. And it's not teeny tiny. So that's nice. I thought these were pretty too. And they kind of match nicely with this guy. And this one was cool too. This one kind of matches with the other one, like with this one. Uh, I bet this one's magnetic, what do you think? Yeah, because I think this is hematite. So some hematite is magnetic. Um, now the thingy, <laughs> sorry. I just did an educational video and now I'm saying thingy but the pendant part on here is not magnetic, but the hematite is, so. And then only the spring ring clasp on this one is. I know everybody knows, but the spring ring clasp usually has some kind of method in there um, where it is magnetic, even though it could be silver. So this will be a good way to pick up <laughs> these bangles and see which ones I might have to take a closer look at and which ones I do not. So I will do that later as well. So I would say, you know, barring these things here, and again, this will go in there. And also I like some of these other things as well, <laughs> I would say it's worth $23. <laughs> I don't know why they do what they do, but I'm happy that they do <laughs> because <laughs> I'm happy with this. So let me know what you guys think. And I'm actually fine. You want me to go over the, the bangles? All these are uh, gonna be magnetic. It looks like it's kind of a fun way to do this though don't you think I don't know why but it, it's very fun here let me put you in look at all these <laughs> I don't need any more bangles. I have so many. I'm sure I am not alone there. How did this, oh. <laughs> I think they're, I think they're all magnetic. Let me see, let me keep going. This guy's, These ones where ah, I can't even get it off of the thing. Oh, yeah, that guy was. I did some cleaning today, too, so it's been a productive day all around. <laughs> this guy is... This is kind of fun. I don't know why. And uh, my husband put up a mirror. One day I'll actually be able to do a house tour when my house is actually clean. Of, like, at least 
one one room. I won't do my whole house because it's gonna be quite um, the amount of time before my whole house is clean. But what do you guys do with your like these bangles? Do you guys do anything with them? I'm curious. That is what I'm avoiding, is the Porter's Tour. Not that I'm alone. It's that fine line, right, between being a hoarder and being a reseller. Oh, look, a paper clip. Ooh, this one's really magnetic. It's a shame. I think I'm gonna put this one in the crafter one because that one's kind of fun. I could think of fun, fun things to do with it. Yeah, very fine line. That's why I'm glad I just mostly sell jewelry because, oh my goodness. I don't think I could handle it otherwise because I'm already a hoarder. I am such a hoarder, it's bad. Yeah, the craft lots, I need, I need to do more craft, craft lots. Um, I have a lot. I try to do them pretty cheaply just because I mostly just like the idea that some people hopefully can reuse things. And, uh, more than anything so i raised a tiny bit because i forget about the um paypal fees and stuff like that but i was i should actually nah. um so i think i was doing 20 28 dollars for a box full None of the silver. This one was, obviously. None of the silver was magnetic. And this is all we have left. Gee. That's kind of fun. I need to get one of those rare earth magnets. I know some of you guys have those. And they're like super strong. The guy who I sell my scrap to has those too. All right, guys. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. <laughs> and that's part of it too, why I buy these jars. Like sometimes I'll get comments that I threw my money in the garbage, which is like, whatever. That's the fun of it. You know, when you play the lottery, you pretty much throw your money in the garbage too. And I don't really play the lottery. I play the jewelry jar lottery. So I have fun doing it and I hope you guys have fun following me. I think it was worth it for the $22. Um, I will keep you guys abreast of this one, but I think, I think this is, but you never know. And like I said, the one that was marked 14 karat in the last one with the three little rubies, that one was definitely 14 karat. I scrapped that one and got 60 bucks for that. A little clasp and a single earring, hoop earring that was really small. So that was really nice. So I will see you guys in my next video. And please leave a comment down below if you, you know, have any thoughts on anything we've talked about. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.